hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. Thank you for joining me. This is going to be a relaxation uh, technique. So this is a podcast is relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. Uh, please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And I am actually going to ask you to close your eyes whilst doing this technique. However, you be you might be pleased to know that this is going to be a short recording. I can hear cheers around the world. So it's quite it's a technique that's good for focusing on one particular thing. Okay, so an example that I just used it on, and it was really good, it works, uh, is somebody that works in uh, a place that I go to, and they're very rude, very just rude to me, but, or they don't like, they're, they're kind of, it's hard to explain, but they're just not very friendly. So I did this technique, lasted for, however long it lasts really depends upon yourself, so, um, but it didn't last very long, and it helped. So what it's going to be, for this technique, I'm going to be asking you to push your hands together, but in a, not in a praying way, but in a, um, a physical pressure kind of way. Now, if you have any physical conditions, uh, any sort of chronic pain, your shoulders, your hands, your arms, whatever, you know, your chest, your back, because you're using all of those muscles for this, then maybe don't do it. Okay? Um, but this is for people that are able to do that. There's other ways around it. I mean, I could probably sit here and talk for two hours, and those that listen to me regularly know that I can do that, but I could probably give you lots of different versions of this, but I'm just going to do this one for now. Um, so I've got my hands and fingers together, and the fingers are apart, because that's how they naturally are, if I put them together. If I put my fingers together, then that puts quite a lot of pressure on my actual fingers. But if I just allow them to just be at the normal width when they're together. And my hands are out in front of me. You don't have to point them upwards or point them sideways. It's up to you. It makes no difference. But really, um, a lot of the pressure is going on the bottoms of the palms. You know, the bit that is just above the wrists. And then, so you're not putting a huge amount of stress on the fingers themselves but you are pushing the hands together so it's more the padding that's being pushed okay but before you start pushing them together just put them together leave them loose and I want to ask you to think of someone that's has, when you think about them normally, you feel a bit stressed, maybe angry, tense, but that person is, uh, you react to them in a negative way and it causes emotional pain for you. Probably has no effect on them at all, but you're you know, you're reacting to them. This is the way that I react to this person I was talking about. It doesn't affect them at all. They're just going along with their life. Um, but this is something that you can do. So think about someone that, when you think about them, you know, they've annoyed you. Perhaps someone recent, you know, like a very recent person that has... They said something that has played on your mind and your stress levels have increased because of it. Okay, because 
Um, I'm going to let you decide who to think of because obviously I can't decide, but I could spend ages coming up with different scenarios. So just, if you need to press the pause button while you think of somebody, then do so, uh, if you choose. Uh, you can also think about maybe about something that somebody said to you, or, you know, an experience has happened lately, that you think about it and it just bugs you, and it's causing emotional discomfort. So, I'm going to... Just assume that you thought of some something or somebody. So now I want you just to think of that person, the picture of them in your mind, and push your hands together. But as I said, it's just the padding at the bottom of your hands that you're really pushing. You're not pushing your fingers together because you don't need to. It's just the padding at the bottoms of your hands. And just keep pushing them together. You can do it as hard as you like. You can do it as hard as you can or just to a point where it's comfortable. And just push it together. And the idea is not to push it for as long as you can where you have to just clap your hands because it's too much. But just do it to a point where you feel comfortable enough to let it and relax your hands. But you're not going to relax your hands quickly. You're going to do it gradually. So as I think about this person, something they said, and and relax your hands, but very gently relax while you're still thinking of that person. So I can feel my fingers starting to sort of creak a little bit as they're relaxing. And my shoulders and my back and my chest. What I'm noticing is more important is that feeling I had towards that person has changed. doesn't have the power anymore doesn't have the energy or the level of discomfort that it was there before it's almost like they're just unimportant not the person but the emotion that was connected to that person just doesn't seem to be there And as you keep focusing on them, you keep focusing on your hands as your hands relax. And you can let your hands gently fall to your knees if you're sitting in a chair. And just notice how your arms, your shoulders, your wrists, your fingers feel really relaxed. As you still focus on that person. It feels nice. Instantly I feel more relaxed. Physically and emotionally. But also... Thinking about that person, <laughs> it almost doesn't even seem to affect me for some reason. Now, if it's a strong, 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 strong feeling, you can repeat this a few times until you get down that feeling to a level that you're comfortable with or until it's eradicated altogether so you no longer have those emotions or negative feelings are all gone and that is it you may find 
it's easier to do it whilst you listen to me but then you can also do it on your own and it takes a few minutes so for example if you're at work somebody said something that's really just for some reason it's got to you and if you keep festering on it it's going to make the rest of your day really crappy so maybe take yourself away go to the toilet sit in a cubicle or go somewhere where you can be alone and do this exercise focusing on that person you haven't got to repeat what they said to you you're focusing on the person and the feeling that you have towards that person. And then do this exercise and repeat it as many times as you need. And please let me know how you get on. So thank you very much for listening. I told you it was going to be a short one. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.